Okay, it's the 8th of April and it's um, a, a month and a day since I started the challenge and I'm back in with Dave Mott today. I couldn't see him yesterday, he was, um, he was ram solid. So uh, we've got our body composition today and this is this will be the third one we've done. Obviously did one day one, did one two weeks after and now we're a month into it. So um, sort of looking forward to seeing what, what shape I'm in. Did eat a lot of chocolate over the weekend though. Right, here we go. Um, welcome back, Rob, for um, another body composition analysis. Um, you were here two weeks ago, mm -hmm. um, and we took some readings then. And within that two weeks, you've obviously um, worked really quite hard because um, your skeletal muscle mass, uh, 41.7 kilograms of your body mass was muscle mm -hmm. um, two weeks ago. Now it's 42.9, so you've gained over a kilogram of muscle mass in two weeks, which is great. Right. Not only that, um, you've lost some fat as well, uh, which we needed to do. Um, so you've gone from 18.6 to 17.6, so you've lost precisely a kilogram of body fat as well. Okay. So although your overall body weight has gone up over half a kilogram, gone up from 91.3 to 92 kilograms, um, you've gained muscle and you've lost fat and overall you've got a net gain of, of muscle there which um, is, is which um, accounts for the, the, the right. overall weight uh, increase so that's fantastic um, your percentage of body fat now has gone from 20.4 down to 19.1 uh, which is great and your visceral fat which is the fat around your abdominal contents has come down 10 points so and that's great as well because remember last time you were in the sort of the what class the danger yeah. zone or or the warning zone I should say um, now you're down teetering on the edge of normal if you like you know? so bring that down a little bit more uh, and that'll be um, uh, into that normal uh, range there so that's that's really good um, I wouldn't expect any changes in any edema levels any swelling or anything because um, they were perfectly normal before anyway mm -hmm. you're possibly a little bit dehydrated uh, this is teetering on the bottom um, edge of, of norm, so you know, make sure you get yourself. Um, yeah, I've, I've slept a little bit in. over the weekend on okay. fluids. Yeah. So um, start to rehydrate yourself slowly. Don't all of a sudden take a load in, but yeah. just um, just build that up. Um, you can see you've gone. Your overall fitness score has gone from 87 to 90, which is great. That's okay. getting more like a, a proper athlete, if you right. like. Okay. Um, so that's good. You've gone up a, a good three points in two weeks, um, which is excellent. Um, so overall, um, that's really good. Let's look at your muscle mass. Um, it's quite interesting because although your overall muscle mass has, has gone up, uh, you can actually see that um, your arms have gone up a little bit in terms of your muscle mass in your arms. Mm -hmm. um, your muscle mass in your um, abdominal area, and your trunk area, your chest, your back and your abdominal area has gone up. Um, not gone up, in fact, come slightly down in your legs, which is quite interesting, but you're doing a fair bit of running, aren't you? Yeah. Which is more endurance work. Yeah. So, um, although you're doing some strength work as well. Yeah. 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 So, you know, that, that'd be something to keep an eye on. Maybe that we need to up your up protein levels work, yeah. um, a little bit and have a look at the way that you're doing the strength work. Okay. Um, but overall, the muscle mass has gone up um, and fat has come down, which is exactly what we need to look for. Cool. Okay.